Hi everyone and welcome back to the studio uh, for our latest video. We're going to be doing a little experiment today uh, with Harry and myself. Harry will be hitting the balls because I'm still a few weeks down the line from my shoulder operation but not far away now. But we just wanted to try and find out what effect warming up has before you play golf. Now I know a lot of you do get out of your car and go straight to the first tee and hit your first shot in anger when it counts. Uh, and we just wanted to see today what effect that has compared to warming up on your ability to create club head speed and to be accurate off the first tee. So let's have a look at a few shots. Harry has come in here stone cold. You'll see on the screen this is shot number one. I haven't even let him have a warm up of any sort. So this is basically just trying to simulate. He's done an eight hour shift in the shop uh, and now we're gonna see what happens with his very first drive of the day. We'll keep hitting shots and then we'll show you all the shots to see how long it took Harry to get up to his normal club head speed and get his normal control of the golf ball off the tee. So let's have a look, see how it goes. Right, so here we go. Harry, how are you feeling? Uh, Mike, I've just done an eight hour shift and <laughs> don't feel very agile right now. Okay, yeah, no practicing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so literally just imagine you're on the first tee for us. Make your best attempt with your best swing and let's see what happens. Let's see what we've got. See what you've got. Well, it's a very playable golf shot. I don't know if the camera and the microphone picked that up, but I, I heard a big ankle click halfway during the back swing there, so that's clearly one part of your body you need to warm up. There's a lot of that, so <laughs> Okay, so we can see that Harry normally uh, draws the ball, you know, control, power, uh, draw. This has gone the other way. Uh, and his club head speed up there, it says, I don't know if you can read that on this particular part of the video, but it says 105 miles per hour, uh, which I know for a fact is significantly down on Harry's normal, ranging between about 110 and 112. And when we actually think about club head speed, for every one mile per hour that we generate, we can generate up to two and a half yards worth of carry. So if Harry's seven miles an hour short, we're looking at a 20 yard carry distance down from his first shot of the day. And it's gone in the opposite shape to that which he normally plays. So we'll carry on hitting a few more balls. We'll show you the odd one here and then we'll have a look at the results and see how long it takes Harry to get up to speed. Okay. It's been quite a long time. Well done, Harry, that's fantastic. Fairway hit. You may notice the uh, keen amongst you that we're on the first tee at St Andrews. So we've made the fairway as wide as golf will possibly allow here. Um. Okay, That's, that felt good. That felt a bit close a bit to better. the middle. Yeah, a bit close to the middle. A bit more like a normal shape. Yeah, definitely. yeah I agree. Yeah, so the ball's starting to move right to left. That's interesting. So club head speed's gone up by two miles per hour, which is quite significant. Uh, I didn't see the carry on the first one, Harry. What was it? Uh, it's, about, uh, it's about 250, mid, mid 250. So okay. up, up nearly 10 yards. 10 yards, <laughs> nice. A lot less clicking of the. Uh, I didn't hear the there as well. I didn't hear your body giving up there. No. Right. Good. Interesting, we've got up to 300 plus yards where Harry uh, can hit it to. Club head speed again is up from the shot, the previous two before it. Uh, a little bit more draw, probably this hole doesn't suit driver, but we'll continue to hit it just to see how long it takes you to get up to speed. Okay, so here we go, Harry. This is your seventh consecutive drive. Getting ever closer. Yeah, getting a bit better. Oh, you've killed that. This is a heck of a shot. This is your normal shape. Might be wet in this circumstance, but what a shot. 313 yards to get into the water. Distances I only dream about. Right, very, very interesting. Um, excuse me. We can see that we've got 110 miles an hour club head speed. So that's, is that kind of up to that's your... That's pretty, pretty close to my... Yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, I can get a couple more if I push it, but I'm, 
that's that's just pretty much me there. And it's your normal shape. Uh, you can see it's much more out the middle of the club than the first a lot, half a dozen. A lot closer yeah. to the middle of the club. Okay, really, really interesting that. So it's taken you. This is shot seven. So if you were to imagine you were, you were on the golf course playing now, if you take out the, the par threes on our front nine, Harry's in effect on the ninth tee before he's up to race pace with his driver. Now I know he'd be hitting him with some irons in between and things to warm up, but it just shows you that if we, if you could just go in the net for five full-blooded swings before you play, there's a good chance that your swing speed will get up to where you normally are, and that can be a real difference in carry of, of 15, 20 yards uh, down the fairway, which might make a difference. So let's have a closer look at the shots that Harry hit, those seven that he hit uh, from Stone Cold up to the, uh, the seventh one. And you can see the first one, as we saw, was 105 miles an hour in the top left-hand corner, the club head speed there. Uh, and you can see a gradual increase through the seven shots, six, seven, up to eight, and then the last one at, at 110, 109.9. Um, also, what you might be able to see on the face impact column there is that gradually Harry hit nearer and nearer to the middle of the club face um, as he got more warmed up, which is quite interesting in itself. And let's now have a look at how that affected uh, where the ball went and how far it went. So let's have a look now at what the ball did. So these are the same seven swings listed from the top one at the, the first one at the top and the last one at the bottom. And then if you look at the left hand column first, the ball speed, we can see that's reflecting uh, the same pattern that the club head was. 150 miles an hour to start with, gradually increasing uh, up to 160 miles an hour by the seventh drive that Harry hit. And the other thing to notice here is if you scan your eyes across to the uh, other side is the carry distance because that has a, a major uh, impact on how far the ball carries. So 256 to start with, that was a slightly necky strike out the bottom of the club and it, it hit a cut shape which is Harry, not Harry's normal shot, it was in play. Uh, but by seven shots in he's carrying the ball 30 yards further. Uh, which is amazing. So I know Harry has a faster club head speed than most, so uh, his uplift may be greater than yours, but if you're getting an extra 15 or 20 yards for your game, just by warming up for five or six shots uh, in the net, then that's got to be worth it. Okay, so we've just seen from those tables what uh, the difference it makes uh, to, to hit a few shots and to get up to your race pace, and the fact that it took Harry, who's 23 years old and supple and fit, uh, how long it took him to get up to race pace and the effect it had on on the actual shots that he was producing So all I would suggest to you is that you uh, take this information for your own game and just give yourself a few minutes Literally to warm up before you play So if you can get into the nets to hit a few shots all the better because you'll be practicing your strike as well But if you can't or you just want to uh, limber up at home between games as it were to keep your muscles moving Try this simple exercise. You'll see here. I've got two middle irons from a set uh, and I'm going to hold them together on the grip so don't worry about your normal golf grip just hold them uh, like baseball style here and just swing them together through your golf swing and just get used to the fact that having an extra weighted club if you like which is the weight of two clubs is working those muscles those golf muscles even harder than a normal club would don't forget drivers the lightest club in your bag so to make it heavier we'll be training you and you should be even better when you get out the lighter clubs for the actual game. So a good few swings just to let the muscles loosen off and then when you get comfortable really pick the speed up and really try and simulate the fact that you're trying to work at optimum speed. If you take any other sport for example running, tennis, any other physical sport you'll never find that anybody uh, wishing to perform at their best would do it from a stone cold um, physical position. They take quite a long time to warm up and stretch uh, so that they can operate at optimum levels right from the start. Okay, well I hope that's been helpful. It's been a really interesting exercise to see uh, and hopefully it will do some good in your game in the months ahead. Bye for now.